Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the Steak and Brush. And I got it, the palette that broke the internet. <laughs> Raw Beauty Christie's uh, collaboration with Pure. Double-sided pressed pigment palette. Uh, before we get into it, let's address the elephant in the room. My eyebrows are crazy. Um, a, a friend of mine gave me a sample of the KVD Super Brow, um, and since I had never tried KVD products because, you know, Kat Von D's crazy, and I, you know, now that she's out, I can try them. I tried it, and I've never used a brow pomade before, um, and I tried the this color, the you know, medium brown first, and whoa, it was out there. So then I went to the, the taupe. That seemed to be a little bitter, but it's still kind of... I've never used brow pomade before, and yeah, so they're out there. I apologize for that. Okay, so we all know the story. If you don't know the story of Raw Beauty Christie, big, huge... Well, really, really funny uh, YouTuber. She's having a hell of a year. You know, she had been thought she was infertile, had tried for years and years. She got pregnant this year, and then on top of that, she announces her first ever collaboration, and is with Pure Cosmetics. Um, she did her video where she explained all you know, like all of the drawings on here. I mean, she designed everything, the packaging. I you know names, colors, everything. So we're all excited. She also just hit a million subscribers. So what seems like all million subscribers at once tried to get on the Pure website and it was a clusterfuck. Um, yeah, it was horrible. For the first, I guess people even trying to get on the site just for other things, even an hour or two before the launch, couldn't get on it. It would crash. You know, it wouldn't load. Um, I was getting to the page, but I would hit add to cart and this little white circle would just, you know, spin around forever. Everybody was having that problem. Like nobody was getting through. Um, this was at noon, Eastern time, my time, 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, I tried for hours and hours and hours. Um, well, let's say I tried for two or three hours just like refreshing and doing all that stuff because yes, I should have given up, but I am so, so stubborn that once something's in my head, I've got to finish it. <laughs> and you know, I kept waiting, I kept waiting. I also hadn't slept the night before. So I was extremely tired at this point as well. Um, and finally I said, you know what? I'm gonna take a quick nap and see what happens. And, uh, you know, I, I had my daughter kind of eyeball my computer, like, you know, if you notice anything happen, please let me know, because I was just on that little spinning thing, and I thought, well, maybe something will happen. Well, nothing ever happened. Uh, I woke up, I don't know, maybe two hours later, and then finally there was this new thing where it was, hey, now you're in line. And because I had been sleeping while I had gotten in line, I was like number 12,000 or something in line. It was going horribly slow. Apparently, people who were waiting in line would get there. Once you, once you were allowed access to the site, you had 10 minutes to get your stuff and check out. Apparently, it was crashing then, too. Um, yeah, so that wasn't fun. Well... You know, I kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And the nice thing, I will say the really nice thing about this was it would allow you to put in your email address and it said, we'll let you know when you're close. Don't close this, but we'll let you know when you're close in line. So I said, okay, I'll put in my daughter's email address and I'll go back to sleep for a while. <laughs> um, and I thought, you know, when she gets the email, she can wake me up. I slept until midnight. And, you know, so we're talking hours and hours later and she didn't wake me up. I thought, wow, did I miss it? Maybe it probably sold out. So I never got there. 
And when I woke up, it said, you know, at the little bar said I was really, really close. I thought, you're kidding me, right? It's still there. Apparently it did crash so many times for so many people, you know, when they got there, there were still more available. And I got there, I was able to check out. I was originally going to get the lashes too, but the discount codes weren't working. Um, and I'm poor and I was afraid like if I mess with too much, it was going to screw everything up. So I just said, I'm going to get the palette and I'm going to get out. Um, I did do the two day shipping, so I would get it a little quicker. I didn't do the overnight shipping cause that was really, really expensive, but I did the two day shipping and now we're here. <laughs> long story long. So this palette has two sides. Um, we have the neutral side and it has like the back is all the same pictures that are in the front. All of the names have very special meaning to Christy. She has explained them all in her video, so I'm not going to go through them. Um, my daughter swatched them all. I'll drop in a picture. I mean, these are, oh, this mustard yellow. I am so ready to try this mustard yellow. Um, and they are all, there's eight matte shades and one shimmer shade there in the middle. It's supposed to be complimentary to everything there. We've got warms and then some cooler ones over here. And then on the other side is the bright side, same background. Again, we've got different color, uh, um, all the names. She explains them in her video and eight mattes and a shimmer. She included a white, she said, because white helps it blend out and every other palette has a, uh, a black in it. Um, my daughter, again, swatched these. I'll drop them in. She is very particular. Again, she loves to swatch, but she's very particular about white swatches and just never found a really good uh, thing that swatched white. And this one really, really did. Um, so we'll see if these actually swatch or these actually work as well as they swatch. I'm going to go in, I'm going to do one side neutral and one side with the bright side because why the hell not? It's a Friday night. It's not like I'm going anywhere. Now let's see what we have got. I have tried one pure palette before, but it was a boxy charm. Uh, collaboration and it was made in China which means it was made it was not made with pure as necessarily formula so I really don't know whether or not you know how much I like the pure formula so let's see all right I of course I'm gonna go into Camelot because it's just gorgeous they are they do kick up oops a lot of powder I am not putting on any um, primer today. I've just still been having a little bit of texture issues with my eyes and the primer is just exaggerating it. I am kind of really packing it on now. Don't think I'm going to do anything too, too crazy. Um, I lost my color switch. I have no idea where it is. It always just sits on my vanity. I can't find it under the vanity. My bed's right behind. I can't find it under the bed. I have a feeling that the cast decided that they wanted to play with it. So I'm just using this little scrubby thing. The closest texture I could find until I can get a new one. All right. Um, I think 
I'm going to just take a real fluffy brush and go into this my whole heart here just to kind of blend it a little bit up at the top. I'm trying to do this a little differently than I normally do with my eyes. And okay, I gotta try B as much as I want to use you're not my real dad just because it's you're not my real dad again if you watch Robbie and Christy most of these really you know a lot of or I shouldn't say most of these but a lot of these colors color colors color names make a lot of sense that packed a lot of pigment <laughs> probably more than I was expecting so let's blend it out. Okay. I got a little patchy right there. And I don't know if it's just because it's on top of the yellow. Let's try blending. That area looks a little patchy. Let's see. I guess I should have also mentioned that this palette was thirty-four dollars. I never did say that her lashes were fourteen. I still feel like I have a big bruise here because I've made such a mess. Alright, I'm going to go into Golden Ticket here in the middle just to see if I can salvage this a bit. like that and it has nothing to do with the palette it's all in how I did it let's move over some more camel let's see what we can do I'm going to have to start over. What do you guys think? Let's see what happens. Let's just kind of go with it for right now. to go in with I'm going to go in with B and see if maybe if I apply it to my lash line down here it'll help bring it all together I, I think that helps a little Okay, surprisingly, I like that a lot better now. Again, nothing about the quality of the palette there. This is all just 
how I applied it. <laughs> okay. Yes, it had a little bit of patchiness over here with B. And that was in the places that I applied it over the Camelot. I do think Camelot you know, performed really, really well. And the, what is this, Golden Ticket um, worked really, really well, too. I kind of want to smoke this out a little bit under my eye, too. Is this a bad idea? Probably. Isn't this whole eye been a bad idea? I'm going back into Camelot. I just love the color so much. I'm going to leave well enough alone, if we want to call this well enough. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll do eyeliner and lashes to both at the end and go over that. Let's switch over to this side. And I have no idea what I'm going to do. And yes, I want to do the red because red. And then there's a yellow, but I used the yellow on this side. Okay. I'm do halo eye. I'm gonna go in with Garden State here at the top. Christy has also announced that there is a restock. Um, she doesn't know if. It's the only restock, but I think I'm going to try to put this up tomorrow, which is Saturday. So I think it's tomorrow's when the restock starts and what it is, it's like a pre-order so that they know how many they have to make. So they will keep selling like the entire time and then however many they've made or the orders they've got, then they'll make that amount. So if you do want it, there hopefully will be no sales glitches. too high. Let's see, hopefully I have a plan for that. I'm dipping in a lot because I'm just putting the um, very little amount on there each time because I don't want to overwhelm self with pigment. Now I'm going to go into Tribute. This Garden State reminds me a lot of, I can't remember what the name of the color is, um, but in the Jeffree Star Bloodlust, there was a color that almost made me want to get it. This was before all the scandal stuff. I still have never bought an actual Jeffree Star palette. Now I'm glad I didn't, but this kind of reminds me of that. pretty good purple. These are vegan, so vegan purples can be hard to do. This is all, you know, vegan and non or cruelty free, all of that. There's a little patch right there. A lot of this could be, you know, again, I have no primer on. I mean, you shouldn't have to have a primer for a shadow to work well. You really shouldn't. So, um, 
but they definitely do make them work better. dip into Illuminos here with a fluffier brush. Let's see if I can use, oh, that was, I should not have used so much. That is heavily pigmented even though it's a white. <laughs> but I do like the way that out. And that helped that mistake up there. I'm going to go in, now that I've blended off the edges, you can see how powdery that was that got into the blue there go back in and pack on a little more color in the centers Disco is almost just like a topper. So, I'm going to put it in the middle. This is where we decide. Do we risk something? Okay, I'm going to try putting a little bit of hurtful just in the middle here. I think it kind of blends the two colors. Ooh, that really does. That's like a perfect blending color in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to go into Cafe Disco. My finger here. I'm going to turn the finger, so I have to go into a different finger. Ooh, that is a pretty, pretty shimmer. Get my fingers off here. Alright, now what do I want to do under eye? You know what? I actually liked that so much, I'm going to go into the hurtful. Okay, my fingers are dirty. I have to do this without touching my face. to the white. Blend it out a bit. not enough. 
that helps. Go. All right, I'm gonna leave it alone. What are you guys doing? My cat has apparently spotted a bug or something, or she's just crazy. She's staring into the wilderness of my room. Oh. Okay, let's. I'm gonna put lashes on and um, eyeliner and stuff. We'll be right back. Okay, I am back with lashes and liner, and it just makes me wish I had gotten Christie's lashes, but alas, maybe I'll do them at the restock. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. So, um, I also went ahead, I did a new lip and added some lip gloss, just in a very Christy kind of feel. Um, so what are my thoughts? Um, I, you know, I came across a couple colors that were a little patchy. I don't know. This one obviously could be user error. This side, I don't think it's user error, but, and that was just in that purple. But I definitely, definitely want to play around with these a lot more. Um, just because of fun. But also just, you know, to see if, you know, it was a one-time problem, or it's something uh, that other colors have. Um, this is what I will say. I do not think this is a beginner palette. It is so, so pigmented, which I love, but that's going to be really hard for a beginner to use. I mean, look at the problems I had, and while I'm no expert, I'm not a beginner either. Um, but, I mean, this green performed beautifully, and um, after, you know, I got it to work, I just, <clears throat> excuse me, I got it to work, I just had to use some extra oomph there. This Camelot is one of the most beautiful shades I have ever used. Gorgeous. I can't wait to try this one too. Um, and this one, the copper. I mean, there's so many. Uh, I foresee myself using this for a lot of, lot of looks. I really do like it. I think it was worth the $34. Um, probably not worth the 12 and a half hours I ended up waiting in line. <clears throat> Luckily, I wasn't waiting the whole time, but. I like it. Um, watch here for more looks to come to, and uh, more updates to see if I had any other patchy colors. Um, you know, it's not the best palette I've had, but it is a good palette. Congratulations, Christy. Not that she will ever, ever see this. And I'm very happy to have gotten it. Let me know if you got it, if uh, what you like, what you don't like. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.